Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Hope you're all doing well. Um, today I want to uh, do a review of this digital microscope for you. Um, about two years ago, I did a review of the one on the right here, which is an Anden Star AD206. And the one on the left here is a new one which I've recently received, which is an Anden Star AD207S10 Pro. Um, and I want to talk about um, some of the issues that I had with this. Some I want to talk first about the similarities between the two, and then I'm also going to talk about kind of the, the differences or upgrades, um, kind of issues we had for this one on the right related to coins that the one on the left um, takes care of. Um, but first off, just want to turn this to the side so we can see um, how it how it functions here. Um, so similarities that we have here, the material of construction is very similar. So like the, the metal base, um, the material used for the um, brackets seem very similar. Um, the external lighting to the side um, seems essentially identical. Um, the microscope piece itself is similar, has a um, almost identical lens cover and UV filter that go on top of the microscope lens. Um, the uh, power cord is very similar. So I have um, this to show you here. So it has this um, uh, like up and down for the light of the external lighting on it and then power which turns all the power on and off. And so then there's two cords coming out, one that powers the microscope and monitor and one that powers the external lighting and sometimes I'll have that plugged in, sometimes I'll have it unplugged, depending on if I need the extra lighting or not. Um, and so those things are similar. Um, some differences are, as you can see, that this um, bracket goes a lot higher. Um, they did that specifically for us with coins. Um, because the, the 206 that we have over here, we were only able to get a, the largest field of view to cover about the size of a nickel. Um, and with the um, higher bracket, we're able to go all the way up to being able to have an entire um, uh, dollar coin in view. That's a picture I took earlier with this, um, which is excellent. So if you want to take um, photos of, of like the whole coin, which is something that I often have people ask me about, you can do that now. Um, a couple other differences is the, the base is now larger. So probably not entirely necessary for coins, but if you uh, have a larger, uh, like say like a printed circuit board or something that you're working on, the larger base helps uh, with that. Um, the uh, travel on the bracket over, uh, on the back, there's different knobs. I'll show you the knobs on the past one. So they upgraded the knobs and it seems to um, run a little bit smoother on that bracket. Um, but that's pretty much everything as far as like the construction goes that I think is similar or different. Um, with the, let's see here. Um, they, they come with a remote control and that is identical. And so there isn't any, um, upgrade that I could see to the remote control. They're identical for the two. In fact, uh, like the controller I have for each of them works on both of them. So, um, not, um, any difference there at all. And um, so one one issue I had with the one in the past was that I had to, uh, these buttons are similar here, but like to mode, um, I'd have to go into like the video mode to be able to zoom and then go back to the photo mode um, to be able to uh, have it zoomed in or out. But with the new one, I can zoom in and out in the photo mode. Um, so they fixed that. I don't know that that necessarily was um, intended on the 206 or if it was just kind of an issue that they had there. Um, and then, of course, the, the where I have the 10 Pro, it's got a 10-inch screen instead of a 7-inch screen, which is nicer. Um, the photo quality, it's a I think it's 24 megapixel instead of 12 megapixel. So um, another thing is that I'm just talking about differences here for, for anybody here. So this, an improvements kind of. The microscope right here is where you can adjust the focus. And the way they've designed this one, 
the microscope is mounted lower on the monitor and so it's easier for me to reach that whereas before it was kind of a little bit behind the monitor and so that's easier to um, use now and that and the focus on the microscope um, seems to be a little bit smoother than it was on the past one which is excellent easier to get a uh, good in focus image um, and then with the 10 pro there were several um, kind of uh, accessories that I didn't get with the past one. And so it came with a 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. It came with um, this here, which is a backlit piece to hold um, uh, like glass microscope slides. And so that same uh, power cord that can plug into the two external lights can plug into this light. And then we're able to light a, a microscope slide from the bottom and then place this under here. And if I go back to my photos that I took previously, um, oh, past them, right here are my photos. Um, I took photos of f these five uh, slides that they provided with the microscope. So I'll just give you an example of some different things. That's like a, a bee's wing. So kind of um, cool that, that that gives you a lot of functionality with the, the slides that you couldn't do before because with these that type of slide, you need to have it backlit. Um, they also provided a couple extra tools that weren't provided with the last one, um, a screwdriver um, and a pair of tweezers. And I'm not entirely sure what this is. This is um, like a clear housing and it opens up and it has a hole there. Let's see, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. Um, and so I could put a coin in the top of this and then I have the coin up higher off of the base, which might help me in some situations or uh, I'm not entirely sure if I had a certain um, specimen or sample that I'm trying to look at, that would be really useful. Um, and then another huge change um, that, that's an improvement for this um, newer one is it has um, computer connectivity. And so we have a, a cord that can plug in to the HDMI and then it has a software that goes with it and this is the the power cord again but this power cord plugs in usb um without the the whole uh, cord for the lighting and so we'll try that out too um just here in a moment um and i'll show you the software so this is with it uh set up um connected to the computer uh, i have installed the microscope measure software that they uh, provide with this and uh, this is really nice this is reminds me of kind of open source software that i've used back in college um, with with microscopes and so when it's connected you see on it's not using the screen attached to the microscope anymore at all and it says pc camera here and so now the computer screen is being used to view the image um, but then I can take pictures or videos from the from the software on the computer screen. And it also has all kinds of functions for, for measuring uh, like lengths or distance between parallel lines. You can even do like circles and different um, measurements. Now, of course, if you wanna do any of those measurements, you have to be able to calibrate um, a length to start with. So I, I still had to, I had to do the same thing back when I was in college if I wanted to measure the length between two points, I first had to tell the software um, the length, you know, and, and you could do that pretty easily if you took like a, a ruler that is fairly uh, good ruler and put it under the microscope here, that's the same distance away from the microscope lens as the surface of your coin, and then um, t take a picture of that measure between two points, and t then you tell the software that that distance is uh, two centimeters or whatever it is. And then it's then calibrated to know when, once you measure, um, how long something is. And so I don't have it calibrated at the moment, but it has the possibility to do that, which is a really helpful issue for like certain niche things. Um, for example, like certain varieties where like a coin, I know there's coins from like South America where they were minted at a couple different mints. And the best way to be able to tell them apart is measuring how long a certain feature is on the design. And one will be like 
three millimeters and one would be like 2.1 millimeters. And from that measurement alone, you can tell which mint that coin came from. And so this would help significantly with that. Um, and and besides that, it has a lot of the same features you would have with the, the standalone uh, monitor built into the software here. But it's um, pretty uh, good upgrade, in my opinion, to the previous models. Um, it has a lot of features that make it more advantageous. Um, and I will have a link in my description for this uh, product. It will be an Amazon affiliate link. If you click on that link, whether you buy this microscope or anything, uh, that will help support my channel. But I appreciate you all watching and uh, taking a look at this new microscope with me and have a great day.